Uh, I'm talking today about uh, navigating narrative networks. I work on interactive media. In particular, I'm doing research on branching narratives. So uh, these types of narratives can be navigated in multiple ways. The reader or player may make choices, such as turn to page 13 to climb the mountain, page 26 to go home, press A to accept the mission, press B to decline, or how do you respond, click truth or lies. So uh, branching narratives are perhaps best known, especially in our cultural context, for print game books such as the Choose Your Own Adventure game books for children that were um, at their highest popularity point in the 1980s. However, branching narratives can be found in books, comics, graphic design, film, video games, hypertext, and many other genres and media forms. In fact, UC Santa Barbara has one of the largest collections in the world of such material, since the UCSB Library Special Collections recently acquired the Demian Katz collection last year. Um, it's a pretty impressively historically deep and materially and linguistically broad uh, collection of such material with thousands of volumes. Um, often branching narratives are navigated by using a metaphor of space. So in graphic design or comics, space may organize the page. The viewer explores the choices and moves through page space with their eyes. Um, we can label and unpack this visual space to understand the choice network that it contains. So you might do it something like this, um, using data structures to emerge at a set of decision points. Um, in books, a network of relationships connects pages uh, somewhat invisibly through the codex form. A common convention in interactive readers is to diagram these relationships, creating a kind of a napkin map of uh, their book. Um, and uh, these maps have a remarkable variety. In fact, they hint at the huge variation in the forms of interactive narrative, of uh, genomics, if you will, of branching story spaces. So returning to books, I hope you can see that. Um, we could use a similar mapping strategy to organize and connect actual book pages, much like we did with interactive comics. So this is a diagram of an actual Choose Your Own Adventure book uh, connected in such a way. Um, there are other visualization approaches. This is the work of Chris Swinehart, uh, mapping a Choose Your Own Adventure book um, uh, with diagrams and indices. And you can see similar variety in a small collection of texts. And here's some of my own viz work on uh, the novel House of Leaves uh, using a document structure approach. So in conclusion, what are the shapes of interactive uh, narrative stories? The next step is to survey thousands of works. And once we know more about these shapes, ask ourselves how we will read and write such stories differently. What's the past of such storytelling? And how will we invent its future?